Well, it's about that time, a few weeks out from the presidential election, that all of the memorabilia comes out so that you can have your own little Mitt Romney wandering around the house going poos. Uh, Catherine Eisman, uh, our breakfast reporter in LA, joins us now. Catherine, great to have you with us. Thank you. Um, well, every election year, yep, yeah. every election year, we come out with the most, America comes out with the most incredible memorabilia to celebrate the presidential candidates, also to mock them. And I've found my favourite ones so far. They're called political poopers. And here you have Mitt Romney and you have, of course, Barack Obama with that please vote for me smile on their face. But what I love about this, and I know you will too, yeah. is you wind them up and they literally will walk along pooping red, white and blue candy. The race is on. Who will it be? Can you catch up? And um, I just hope that the, the candy that they're pooping is an analogy for what they're going to do to America. <laughs> if they win, Look, I love, it. I, I, I love it. And also, the likenesses are quite good, aren't they? Because they, some of them are a bit tacky. Well, those are tacky, obviously, but, but they're quite... They're quite good, quite high resolution. They nailed tack. it. Mm, no, they, they totally nailed it. I feel like I'm here surrounded by presidential miniatures. So, what will <laughs> that set us back? That will be $8. Uh, you can get them online. Um, again, you know, they're called political poopers. Everyone must have them. They're selling off the shelf. They just got in stock this week. And, uh, yeah, you can do it. Even if you if you hate Mitt Romney, if you hate President Obama, you can, like, just watch them do. poop. Fantastic. And we all know. And I love it. I yeah. love it. And presumably when they run out of poop, you can refill them. Um, exactly. There's no such and thing as a politician won... running out of poop anyway. <laughs> Exactly. They're politicians. They say they'll poop and they're the only politicians that keep their word. Excellent. <laughs> um, now, before you spend your $8 on that, though, you are going to love this. Uh, New York Fashion Week, the models are doing their own hair. <gasps> It's true. Who knew? I know, clearly a sign of the economic times, but even models are not immune to this economy because backstage this New York Fashion Week, I saw something I'd never seen before, models styling their own hair, and I got the tool that is making them do it, helping them do it, so you guys can do it as well. It's called the V.S. Sassoon Big Hair Styler, and it looks very strange, like some weird implement, but what it is is it's pretty much yes, it a does. hairbrush and a... <laughs> yes. A hairbrush and a blow dryer in one, and it pretty much is foolproof so if you're a little uncoordinated when it comes to styling your own hair like I am you can do it you turn it on I'll put it on low yeah. and it rotates round and you can oh look at that never look better what's happening though it's the brushes are rotating oh, it's, it's bulking it up it's bulking it up it's, it's rotating, it's giving me that big hair look that you see on the catwalks like Carolina Herrera had models with big, big, big hair. And basically it just rotates uh, and gives you that style Fantastic. geometric Fantastic. What are they asking? Looks. What are they asking for it? No, 9 95 It's oh now in Australia, God. which is amazing. No, 19 95 um, But it's so much cheaper than going to the wow. hairdresser. So you Even buy one so. of these, it'll last you for years. Straight to the pool amazing. room. All right, very quickly, star <laughs> spotting Ashton Kutcher you have seen at the Beverly Hills Hotel. I have indeed. You know, weekends would not be complete without seeing some celebrities. I saw Ashton Kutcher with his more than just friends, uh, real love life, uh, real love, real life love, Mila Kunis. She's tiny, petite, curly hair, so cute. They were smooching at the Beverly Hills Hotel having brunch on the weekend, very much in love. Aww. And not to be outdone was inside was Hilary Duff with her new baby boy, Luca, who's so cute, and her husband, who's a Canadian hockey star. And let me tell you something. No one is immune to what parenthood does to you because they weren't talking to each other. They were focused on the child. She was going to the bathroom every two minutes to change oh, fantastic. nappies. They're just ordinary so people like you and me. <laughs> just you and me, exactly. Yeah. Just with bigger bank accounts. Not that we're ordinary. <laughs> um, fa thank you, Catherine. Very quickly, what's the name of that um, dining room in the Beverly Hills Hotel? What's the name? Oh, it's called the Polo, Polo Lounge. Polo it's Lounge, that's it. If you come to LA, fantastic. you have You've to go, go there. there. You've got to go there. In fact, you have to go there very soon because I need you to do me a favour. Uh, <laughs> Catherine Eisman, our breakfast reporter in LA.